A crystal radio, also known as a crystal set, is a simple radio receiver that uses a crystal semiconductor to demodulate radio signals. Crystal radios were popular in the early days of radio, as they were inexpensive and easy to build. They do not require any external power source, as they get their power from the radio waves themselves. A crystal radio typically consists of the following components, antenna, the antenna receives radio waves from the air. Tuning coil, the tuning coil selects the desired radio frequency. Crystal detector, the crystal detector demodulates the radio signal, converting it to an audio signal. Capacitor, the capacitor filters the audio signal and removes any high frequency noise. Earphones, the earphones convert the audio signal into sound waves. Here is a simplified explanation of how a crystal radio works. The antenna receives radio waves from the air. The tuning coil selects the desired radio frequency. The radio signal is passed to the crystal detector. The crystal detector demodulates the radio signal, converting it to an audio signal. The audio signal is passed through the capacitor to remove any high frequency noise. The audio signal is then sent to the earphones, which convert it into sound waves. Crystal radios are not as sensitive or powerful as modern radios, but they are still a fun and educational project to build. There are many kits and resources available online and in electronics stores. Here are some of the advantages and disadvantages of crystal radios. Advantages, simple and inexpensive to build. No external power source required. Durable and reliable. Educational and fun to build. Disadvantages, not as sensitive or powerful as modern radios. Can be difficult to tune in stations. Can only receive AM radio signals. If you are interested in learning more about crystal radios, there are many resources available online and in libraries. You can also find kits and components for building your own crystal radio at many electronics stores. A crystal radio can offer hours of entertainment. They can also be a great way to learn about the history of radios. Crystal radios can also be put together relatively easily without too much skill or work. However, soldering is sometimes necessary, and you often have to hook up an external antenna to get reception. Usually, you have to have it running from a roof of some description down to the ground and hook it up near a tree or pole. You probably get the idea. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.